Hi, I'm Matt Schoneman with Vistatrack. In this demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Vistatrack with QuickBooks. Um, I'm using QuickBooks just for sales orders and purchase orders and also other accounting things like payroll. And I use Vistatrack for all of my plant activities, uh, shipping, receiving, data collection, uh, processing, batching, yield, um, real-time inventory. So this is uh, my Vistatrack screen. If I expand my orders menu and click on manage orders, you can see that it defaults to today's date and I have one order in here for today. So now I'm going to go to QuickBooks and I'm going to create, create invoices. I'll pick a customer here, add some products, I'll add 20 cases of this, uh, 20 cases of this product, and I'll add 30 cases of this product. I'm ordering by the case, but my price is per pound. Vistatrack works great for food companies because it allows you to order by the case, but um, ship by the catch weight. So if I order 20 cases, I'm scanning 20 catch weight cases, and Vistatrack is going to report the quantity back to QuickBooks as the total of all those catch weights. So my price in QuickBooks is per pound. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll create another one here. Save this. And I'll do a third one real quick. So I just created three orders in QuickBooks. So now when I go back to my Manage Orders screen, I can see I now have four orders. The three orders that I just entered into QuickBooks have automatically shown up in Vistatrack. If I double-click one of these orders, you can see that Vistatrack picked up all the sales order information. Um, so it's very important to understand that orders in Vistatrack require no manual entry. Now from this screen, I can print my pick slip for this order. I can also just click on an order here and print the pick slip directly from this screen. Vistatrack can also be set to automatically print the pick tickets to a printer down on the shipping dock or in the plant as soon as the order has been picked up from QuickBooks. So now that I have my available orders in Vistatrack, we're going to go out in the plant and show you how we fill these orders. Using traditional shipping, I can use a scan gun to scan my pick ticket and ship these cases. I have a separate demo video that goes through that process. But for this demo, I'm going to do pack to order. So right on the packing line, I'm going to pack cases and assign them, mark them as sold directly on this order. All I have to do is take my attached scanner and scan my pick ticket. This automatically loads this order and I can see the two different items that are listed on this order. So I can pick which one I want to pack here and just run through the prompts really quick. There's custom prompts in Vistatrack. The first one for this particular setup is country of origin. The next one I have in here is temperature. This is for a seafood company. We store all the tear weights in Vistatrack and the product setup. The pack date defaults to today's date. Now it asks me to enter a batch number. This particular configuration has our batching module. It's used to track raw material usage and processing yield. So I'll select the batch here. And I press yes to confirm everything I've selected. So now I'm packing directly to order number 1019. So all I have to do is put some weight on my scale and press print on my scale head. And I'll automatically get a label for this product. You can see I've labeled one case, I got 49 to go, because remember my order is for 50 cases, but they're catch weight cases. So I'll go ahead and print a couple more of these. Okay, so now I've packed four catch weight cases to this order. I'm just going to say exit. I'm going to scan the same order again. Pick my next item. And now it says I've packed three and I have 47 cases to go. So that's all I'm going to do on this order. I'll press exit here. I'll do my next order. Now I've packed four catch weight cases on uh, the second order as well. Okay, so now I'm back in the office. I can see that I've now shipped seven out of 100 cases on order 1019 and four out of 70 on order 1018. Once an order has been completely filled using pack to order, it's automatically closed or manifested. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to end these orders early. So I'm just going to click on the first order and press end. And it asks me if I'm sure I want to manifest this order. I say yes. This order is short, 93 items manifest anyways, yes. So you can see this order has been manifested. I'm going to go ahead and manifest this second one too. Once an order has been manifested, Vistatrack automatically sends the shipping fulfillment information back to QuickBooks. So I'll switch over to QuickBooks here. You can see that Vistatrack has filled in the number of cases that I shipped. I did 4 out of 50 of this first product, and I added up all the catch weights for a total quantity of 40.51 pounds and it did my price per pound and gave me my totals. Down here it gives me a total. I shipped a total of 71.42 pounds. 
and I shipped 7 out of 100 cases on this order. So you can see Vistatrack not only saves a lot of time out on the plant floor, but it also saved me a lot of time here in the office because I didn't have to go back and manually update the quantities that were shipped on this order. As soon as the order was completed in the plant, Vistatrack picked up everything that happened in the plant and then sent everything to QuickBooks. So everybody is in sync. I'll show you the other order really quick here. Order number 1018. Same thing, on my first item I shipped 4 out of 20 cases for a total quantity of 37.83 pounds. And then down here it gives me my totals. And that's all there is to using QuickBooks with Vistatrack. It's very easy.